everybody, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. My name is Risky Clay. How is it going? How's everybody doing? I hope you are all doing good, and I hope you're staying away from the virus. Hopefully you're not stocking up too much on toilet paper like everybody else. I don't know what's going on in this world. People have gone crazy. Anyway, we are in a new truck. Uh, we are doing a truck, well, driving a truck from one of my subscribers request and it is going to be requested by Gary Lilly. This is going to be the UPS truck. Yeah, I'll have to wait. It's like 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning over here. So it's real dark. We're going to have some lags. You know that. That's just the way this game is. Uh, it's real dark. So you're going to have to wait until we get over here and get loaded. I got a load set. Look like my dang Dash lights just went out, didn't they? They did. What the hell's angels? They were working and now they're not working. Huh. That don't make no darn sense. Anyway, so now we have no speedometer or none of that stuff on the digital board. <laughs> what is the going on? Alright, let's see if we can... Uh, for some reason, none of these trucks are single axle on the uh, game. I kind of wish they were one with a single axle, but there ain't. They're all double. But that's all right. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing wonderful. I know, I know. I ain't been doing a whole lot of videos lately. I apologize, but you know how it is. I'm still busy. And at the present time, no, I do not have the coronavirus, which is... Uh, what was it? It's from China. What was it called? I don't remember the place it came from. And no, it's not racist. That's where it came from. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a talking about all the dumb, dumb stuff going on in the world. Uh, this is going to be a short load. Or haul, might I say. Not load. Well, I guess it haul, load, both be the same, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, trucking journeys. Uh, please do me a favor and join the Discord, my Discord. Link's going to be down in the description. And you can send me a picture of the Smith trans Transport or Transportation, whichever. I can't remember which one you said you worked for. I apologize. That way, maybe I can do the correct trucking trailer. That way, you ain't a little upset because <laughs> I did two different trucking companies. I know. I knew it. I knew it wasn't right after I looked at it going through the video. But, yeah, go ahead and join the Risky Squad uh, Discord. And you can send me a picture of your truck through there and I'll see how good I can make it look for you and maybe you'll be a little happier with that. <laughs> uh, Mopar woman Jamie, hello, how you doing? Thank you for all your comments lately. Uh, matter of fact, thank you to all of y'all for your support and all the new subscribers, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm not even sure where the heck we are. We're over here in Medford, Oregon. I know that. I just don't know where I'm headed to. I mean, what place I'm going. I think it's Hartford. Heartland, Hartford, Hartford Land or something. And get a load of uh, I believe it's empty pallets or maybe it's used packaging. I can't remember. I can't believe my dash light ain't working no more. One second. You know how it is, everybody. <laughs> Had to clear my throat as soon as I get in here to start recording. It ain't going to be real loud in the truck. Uh, cause I have it under the exhaust is under the truck. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember the name of it. I have no stack sticking up, so it feels like I just went in a big circle, man. I mean, seriously. Huh. Heartland, Hart, Hartford Land, or Heartland, or I think this is it right here. Oh, I didn't use my blanker. Oops, naughty, naughty. Um, yeah, right here. Okay. We're going to use the blinker in the parking lot. Come on. Did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. Heartwood. Okay, Heartwood Lumber. Okay. Woo. Let's get over here. Hello? Remember that? Hey, hey, hey. How did I miss? Come on now. That's kind of crap. 
<laughs> uh, my, my stuff is going to change up a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. I'm back. My uh, my con my channel is going to be changing up some. I am going to do my best to get away from any and all cussing if I can. Now, it's not because of YouTube. Believe me, it ain't nothing about them. I really could care less about them, about the kid stuff or nothing. It's about me wanting to change my life. So, hopefully y'all be all right with that and you enjoy my videos still. Uh, now, I might still do some words like caca -coo, coo and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Some kind of talk, talking, cooking. <laughs> um, where the heck are we? What the? Where are we? It's still dark. Anyway, um, yeah, my channel's gonna change up where I ain't cussing and ranting and rape. Well, I might rant and rape, but I ain't gonna cuss. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to do my best not to be cussing. I'm trying to run myself back to my father, my lord and savior. So, I apologize if y'all don't like that. Well, no, really, I don't apologize. Uh, Hopefully you'll stick around, and if not, hey, that's your business. You can do what you wish. I do not believe this is going to work at all. Well, it might. Yeah. Hop in here and see if we can... I don't think I can do this. I ain't drove in here in a while, guys, so y'all going to have to forgive me for not being able to drive for nothing. Plus, it's dark in the game right now. And now get under it. I know I can look through the window if I wanted to. Oh, I think I'm on a jack now. <laughs> I just feel it's something I need to do for myself. And this country really needs to do the same thing. But if they don't want to, that's their business again. But believe me, uh, I used to be real good into that. And, and now I messed up, got out of it, and went with the sins of the world. I'm not going to try to preach to you. That way you don't get it. Well, I mean, it ain't going to hurt if I preach, but I'm not going to preach to you because I ain't, I ain't going to be a minister. I just want to do better in my life for myself. Uh, now, I ain't going to say I ain't ever going to preach a little bit because I might. God is the only way, and he ain't just a way. He is the only way. So I need to change myself up, myself, myself up some. And hopefully you all enjoy it. Hey, Jacob, how you doing, my brother? I hope you're doing well. I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing. My brother Jacob and his mom and his dad. How y'all doing? Dale and Michelle. That rhymed. <laughs> anyway, we're here. We're going to get the load. Hey, you back right up in here. Let me grab the load and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it looked like it's still dark. Quite a bit. Yep. Get off there, cargo load. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me go ahead and pull this thing forward. I'm going to do it from here. As you can see, we got this is a UPS truck and trailer. Oh my goodness, you know what I did not do? I did not look at the mod creator's name for these two mods because I believe they're different modders. Anyway, uh, I went ahead and put a little light bar on the on the cab with three lights. I had to have something on here. It's just not plain old Jano. But here we go. Let's put that in neutral. Anyway, since we're here, we're going to go ahead and do our pre-trip. We got the left blinker got the right blinker we got the headlights are on so let's go ahead and turn them off there's the running lights there's the headlights and there's the oh, ah, bright lights bam 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 sorry guys the horn probably gonna sound like crap because it, there's no way to put you no know, horns up there with the uh, the windbreaker up there on top of there so I went with black wheels I seen a lot of UPS trucks around here with black wheels regular white mud flaps on the back I got black wheels on the trailer too UPS trailer it's only a 45 footer and we got ourselves the uh, lift gate Tommy gate whatever you want to call it and I did go with the extra running lights on the trailer just to make it look a little better anyway let's hop up inside here of the truck go ahead and look at our bill of laden right quick that ain't it <laughs> we got used packaging sound like it's raining oh I didn't do all my pre-trip did I uh, my bad. Anyway, we'll finish this right quick. Huge used packaging from over here at uh, Medford, Oregon. We're going to go to Lakeview, Oregon at the Sales Good, leaving Hartwood. Got to be uh, expected Wednesday at 7.21 a.m. till 11.31. This is an urgent delivery. Well, by the time we get out of here, it should be, we should be there Wednesday at 8.04. Oh, 
What? Huh. Okay, so we'll be there Wednesday at 8.04, 159 miles, 3 hours and 32 seconds. Or 32 minutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's set that down. And let's hop back outside here. Uh, bam. All right, sorry about that, guys. Left blinker, right blinker. Let's do the flashers. There they are. And then the brake lights. I am so sorry. I did terrible on my pre-trip. All right, let's do the flashers on the front. Bam, 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 bam. And let's go ahead and do the wipers since we're here. Uh, which one's the wipers? I don't remember. Ah, there they are. There we go. And we got the wipers. So everything is checked. Okay, let's get on down the road. And we're going to listen to a little bit of music. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Hopefully we don't have too big of a wreck. <laughs> let's do this. Tell you what, I'll talk a little bit while we're here in this. We'll get on the highway and try to do an eight for you. I might do an eight here in a minute, but I cannot believe the light. Everything, all the dashboards and everything, we're working on both my trucks. I, I bought a Volvo UPS, true. Uh, so I might do another one pretty soon with the Volvo. I'm not sure if I'll do this straight 45 footer or if I'll do a double or triple. Hope the radio's loud enough. Eh, it should be. It might not be. I don't know. It's a plain Jane inside the truck. I didn't do much difference. The motor is only a 355 Cummins. 10 speed, guys. I did not do no extra on that. Like I said, I did get rid of the stacks in the back. So we just got an open window in the back. But yeah, I feel like I need a change for my own self. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, hopefully y'all stick, stick around. Stick around. <laughs> and enjoy my content either, either, either way. Sorry about that, I cannot talk today, I apologize. Uh, we will be doing some talking about the coronavirus a little bit and where you need to get your news from because people are going crazy. Matter of fact, people are going pretty stupid. Uh, overreacting way too much. I mean, I understand it's something that you are concerned about in our lives and I, I do understand that, but people, y'all are over reacting going out buying every bit of the toilet paper and water and hand sanitizer and now this the the stores are even emptying out of food because everybody's acting like everything's going to go what the heck did i just do what i could have just went right there what the heck <laughs> it made us go all the way around didn't it <laughs> that's crazy but anyway you need to get your news from the cdc or the health department, not from the liberal news, because these people are lying through their teeth trying to make everything sound worse than it really is. Oh man, this truck is not worth a darn, dude. What's the deal? Okay, are you gonna let me go or are you not gonna let me go, dude? No, you just sit still, dude. I ain't playing games. Anyway, sorry about that. They don't, they don't have the tattletale telling me my year. It was working a while ago. And as soon as I started recording, it's gone. What a joke. Anyway, uh, LFFB, cool, cool. But seriously, go to the CDC or the health, health channels. I, I'm not sure the exact one, names of them or nothing, but do not do it from the news, guys. Come on. <laughs> Get some real news, the truth. All right, I'm back. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, man. That makes me mad. I just bought this truck, had no problems with the gauges. Man, that drives me crazy. But yeah, just make sure you uh, find a news not on television that's going to tell you the truth about everything not try to scare you half to death make you go into a panic destroy our economy guys we're going to have hard times right now yes oh we're going to run the red light so sorry oh it was still yellow uh we're going to have hard times it's going to hurt our economy a little bit but guys and gals of course 
we will back bounce back we're not going to fall out man we're not going to this ain't the apocalypse or whatever you know it ain't no stupid crazy stuff going on it's just a flu it's a new virus but it's still a flu it's not a new virus it's a new strand of the virus corona 38 to 40,000 people a year die of the regular flu. Nobody's going crazy, going out, buying all the food and the water, the toilet, toilet paper. Come on, come on. Toilet paper, really? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I went to Walmart, HEB, Lowe's, I mean, all kinds of different stores. And then they're out of water, hand sanitizer, they're out of toilet paper, they're out of paper towels, Kleenexes, napkins. I'm like, what the hell? And then I went to the convenience stores. Guess what? They're bought out of them, too. I mean, it's, it's just getting ridiculous, people. Calm down. We're not going to get thrown in the house quarantine unless we get sick. Y'all can calm down. We'll be all right. I promise you we'll be all right. We've gone through a lot worse than this, man. It makes me mad. I'm sorry, guys. I know I keep going back to that dang dashboard, but it was working just fine until I started recording. Heck, I'm gonna look back in the video. It might have been working as I started recording. I don't know. Huh. Come on. Uh, I, like I said, I did not train, change the motor and transmission in the truck, so it ain't got no, it ain't got much power on it. Like I said, uh, it will take a little while for me to change from doing much cussing at all and like that word I just said hard habit to get out of but it will happen eventually yeah, come on big daddy we're wobbling like crazy look at this curvy road too that's crazy we're gonna stay in Oregon though Lakeview what does it say eastbound is that which way we're going east I think so but how is everybody? Tell me how you doing. How's time been going for you? Uh, school, which is most of them are now out because everybody's scared. Everybody's shutting everything down. Uh, I don't know, man. I really just don't know. Oh, look at this. 55, 55, 55. Oh, we are doing 55. We can't even get up. So we're doing eastbound 140. Is that what that said? That's what it looked like. Anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to wreck. No, nobody in anybody's family has caught it. One second. Yeah. yeah um, hopefully none of your family have caught it. I mean, some, some of them have caught it. Uh, it's going to affect the elderly the most that are having chronic diseases already or health issues, might I say. Um, was it today? I believe it was today, yeah. Uh, Trump has uh, banned, well, he, he temporarily stopped people from going to UK and Ireland, uh, trying to protect us because they're having a big outbreak over there, if you haven't heard. Also, whoa, he is banning, or they're, they're going to ban, not really ban, but stop visitation for anybody to the nursing homes in the main places where people are, you know, main people are getting sick from this. We're trying to save people's lives and we can do it by everybody working together, using common sense, you know what I'm saying? And uh, make sure you wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water 
not just freaking run the water over your dang hands for a couple seconds. This is weird. Oh, okay. Kind of weird looking turn here. I'm doing terrible today, guys. <laughs> North Bend, 97. But, uh, yeah. Come on, guys and gals. Let's go. Let's all work together. Use common sense. And make sure we take care of everybody in our lives, man. A lot of the majority of any sports event canceled. I mean, most of y'all already know this. Uh, the NASCAR race was even canceled. I mean, well, they're they're racing, I think, but just nobody going to be allowed to be there. Which I don't understand. I mean, as many seats are there, <sighs> I don't know. Uh, part of it's outside. You could spread people out or something. Where maybe you, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I understand people want to protect each other, but. We gotta continue living, guys. Yeah, we gotta live on. If you're sick, don't go nowhere. I'm plain and simple. And most of the places, if you go to the CDC and all that, and the health hazard places and stuff, and find out the map of where any of the diseases are, or not the diseases, the disease has had an outbreak at, it shows you, especially in Texas, there's only like three or four counties or, or whatever here in Texas, towns, might I say, that have even had any cases of it. San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, a couple of them have got it. I, well, I think it was Dallas. I might be wrong about that. Don't get me wrong. Don't let me be, make tr tell you wrong because I don't want you to freak out over that if it Dallas wasn't. But uh, you can find out the truth, not from the news because they're not telling you crap. They're lying through their teeth. And they need to quit it. I mean, I understand this political stuff and everybody wants to try to make their other side win, but not when it comes to human lives, man. Stop the bull crap. Care about somebody besides yourself. It's crazy. Oh, God. Oh, God. These trucks these little new trucks and stuff. I don't know if they had an update and messed it up because if I get on a little hump, I'm not stopping. I ain't got the fines on anyway. It don't matter. I don't think. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> I wasn't stopping and rolling off of that thing. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys. <laughs> I'm running red lights. 140 East again. But uh, just use your common sense, please. Take care of yourself, your family. If you have any... Uh, of your grandmother, grandfathers that are pretty up in the age and maybe have a serious health problem, please make sure they're safe. Keep away from them. If you go to see them, if they're living with you, make darn sure you take care of yourself, clean yourself real well, and make sure you take care of them because we don't want none of our grandparents or mothers or fathers depending on the ages losing their lives man but I mean it's going to happen some people are going to pass away and, and there ain't nothing we can do about it uh, well look at the glitching what up with that hopefully none of my family has it none of my family gets it it could happen but right now I'm just I'm putting it all in the Lord's hand man so also I believe it's tomorrow yes it is it's Sunday the 15th President Trump has also declared it a day of prayer for the United States and America and the world pretty much because of the coronavirus. Please, please pray. No matter you believe or you don't believe, man, it never hurts to have the Lord take care of you. So anyway, um, I'm just hoping and praying everybody's going to be all right. I know I'm, I'm rambling on about this. I'm gonna go ahead and get, see if we if we die or not. <laughs> okay, it just jumped right back in. Okay, so but this thing ain't this ain't something to just joke about all the time. I mean, but seriously, people, stop going out buying everything in the world. Just do as you would normally do. 
for groceries. Go and buy groceries like you would do for a week or two, like you already used to do, not buy the place out of everything. Remember, the other people need stuff too. Don't go overboard, lose your head. I mean, it's, it just don't make no sense. <laughs> They're going to continue travel. Only travel that's going to continue is going to be shipping containers and stuff like that with products where we don't run short on stuff, guys and gals. They're going to keep doing stuff like that. It's just individual people coming in and out are not going to happen no more right now. And it's only a 30 day ban right now. Uh, any American citizens or citizens of the United States are allowed to come home. Uh, they'll have to go through the medical and the quarantine stuff if they do you know just to be safe which is which is a good thing if if trump would not have stopped all travel from china as soon as we as he did oh man we'd had so many people dying already and already effect, infected you know so i'm i am so great what are you doing stupid cop what is wrong with you fool <laughs> he almost ran me over but uh, I'm so grateful for him. Thank God for President Trump, Mike Pence, and everybody. Even Pelosi. They were working together with the, the Republicans. I can't believe it. It's crazy. But I'm glad they finally did get their head out of their you-know-whats and work together to try to take care of the American people, man. We need to take care of us before worrying about this stupid presidential elections and stuff right now you know i mean of course it's not totally stupid we need to worry about it but we need to mainly make sure that we have anybody around here to even have a president for so let's do that first anyway uh, enough of that i'm done with that i'm gonna try to get back in to uh, well i said this last video too i'm gonna try to get back i don't know i don't know exactly when i will be able to but i will try to get back pretty soon to get more content going, other games. Uh, I, I swore I took out these uh, NASCAR mods. I know I did. And also, I remember taking out that, if I'm right, I took out that, uh, what was it? Uh, that, that European truck. What the heck was it called? I don't even remember. I can't believe we're not there yet. 20 more miles. And I seen one of them in the shop. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Whoa. Well, I want to get back into my Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I'm probably real bad by now. <laughs> um, because, get that off there for a little bit. I haven't played in a little while. Got to get some more games going too, but I'm really, I'm just not. Not only have I been working quite a few hours, and I'm tired from that, but I'm also just not been in the mood to get in here and make any videos recently. Um, I have been sick, but I think it's allergies only. I'm hoping it's allergies only. Uh, hopefully I don't have the coronavirus, but if I do, I do. It'll be all right. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm not going to run out and go crazy over it. All my stuff will be left with my daughter, my grandkid, and all that, so I'm not worried about it. Yes, I know people will be hurt because of, well, they might not be hurt too bad, but they will be hurt a little bit for me not being around, but you know, it is what it is. That is part of life. Lakeview, welcome to Lakeview. That's pretty cool. Have we ever been to Lakeview? Oh man, we're already here. I mean, literally to the place. Ooh, what the heck was that? What did I say we was going to? Uh, sales goods. It's right there to the left. Okay then. Huh. Well, hot diggity dog. Let's turn that blinker on. I'm sorry guys, I didn't do a whole lot of driving from the outside. There you go, you can see the truck now, baby.
this gate right here is, I don't understand that. I mean, they might still have it. I mean, they might really, hey, we going right there. Huh. Okay then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it from the outside where y'all can see the truck. Oh man, it's a little loud from the front, ain't it? This thing's gonna be hard for me to do, mainly because it's so short. The trailer's short, the truck's short. It's gonna turn quicker and pick. And again, I apologize if y'all think I was preaching to you or anything. I'm just trying to get people to use their common sense, man. I mean, it's getting ridiculous out here with the way people are acting. Uh, people need to start caring about other people besides just themselves, man. I mean, seriously. But I love every one of you. You're awesome as heaven. Uh, like I said again, this this here was a request from uh, Gary Lilly. I don't know if that's his last name or if it's his wife or, uh, you know, I don't know. That's just the name he's using. Might be just a name he threw out there like I did, you know? Who knows? Again, Trucking Journeys, I appreciate you on letting me know about the trucks being wrong. I kind of knew they were, but I wasn't sure which... Look, I'm doing terrible, guys. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure what would have been pulling it or what would have been pulled by it. So I appreciate all your information on that. But please do come join my Discord. Like I said already, uh, get rid of that. I can't see nothing. I, can, I got to get a good picture here. This ain't worth a darn. I'm going to pull forward and get a... Hopefully get a picture of this. If it's late, it's late, I don't care. But uh, give me a good picture. Come to the Discord, join the Discord. Give me a good picture through there. That would be awesome. Come on, gate, go away. Or don't. <laughs> the truck looks like it's a little of the, a little wrong color looks like it to me. Come on, dude. Go away. Why is the gate not opening? You <laughs> piece of crap. This fence is stopping me from being able to get where I want. Oh well, who cares? Um, yeah, please do that. Send me a good picture of that. That'd be awesome as heaven. I'd appreciate it. I really would. That's cool. Anyway, I should have done something with that bumper. Let's back this thing up in here. Uh, oh, jeez, I set the brake. <laughs> I just don't understand. And if I'm right, the last video we had, our dashboard was working correctly, wasn't it? Okay, so those mirrors are not right at all. There we go. I, I know I didn't have to turn none, but the mirrors look like they're way out of whack. They are. Might be the mod, too. Messing them up. That and the fact that it's acting like a single axle freaking truck. We hit the hit the wall. We don't need to do that. I'll hop out and see what we're looking like. Crooked as heaven. <laughs> oh, it's kind of lined up to the door, just a little off, not bad. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and turn this radio off. Kill the truck. And let's get this thing unloaded. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I wasn't talking. I was taking a breather. Uh, driving distance was 160 miles. Time taken in the game was 5 hours, 6 minutes. Uh, our fuel consumption was 31.9 gallons. Our base reward was 258 XP. Our prophecy bonus level 40 was uh, $1,297. Urgency delivery bonus skill rank 6 was uh, 51 XP. Our trailer maneuverability was 105 XP, which I was straight and I pulled up and got crooked. Total XP was 414 XP. Total cash paid was $5,726. We are three quarters away on level 40 of King of the Road to level 41. All right, guys, I'm back. I make sure that dashboard is gone. You ain't got to see all that BS and stuff. Eh, maybe I shouldn't have put those cab lights on there, but you know, what can I say? <laughs> it wouldn't let me change the mirrors to regular stock black. They were chrome and that was it. That's all I could do. Really would have re preferred a single axle. I don't know if the windows aren't 
most of UPS, aren't they like Volvo or Freightliner or Kenworth? I don't even know anymore. I don't know if there's that many Peterbilts out there. They might be. She looks pretty, though. I mean, I just wish the colors would have been a little better match. But like I said, I believe the, the two mods were different modders. Uh, I'll have to look into that. And if I can remember, I will try to put the mods names in the description. That way you can get a hold of them if you want them. But uh, anyway, I really appreciate all y'all's awesome support. Please, please, if you're, pray, if you're a praying person, if you're a God-fearing person, please go ahead and throw out prayers tomorrow. If you're not, would you please stop and just think about it? We need help to make sure we can get rid of this virus and take care of our whole country, not just ourselves, everybody. If you have not went back to God, y'all might want to think about going back to God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, I love all of you, man. You're awesome as heaven. Please do me a favor. Make sure you go to the CDC or the health department uh, websites and get the proper, true, legit information of what's going on. Make sure you get it from the horse's mouth, not some liar on news media is trying to scare people half to death. Please take care of yourself. Don't go overboard buying everything in the world. We're going to be fine with all that. We're going to continue getting our stuff. We might not be able to be enjoying a lot of sporting events or events, events or big gatherings for a while. But, you know, we got to continue on with life. We got to work. He's done all kinds of uh, national emergency or everything else to help people out in case they do lose their money or work because they're sick. They'll be able to make up and get their paycheck, not lose all their home and everything. Just calm down, everybody, if you can, please. And just think about the whole picture, not just one or two people, man. Take care of yourself out there. Just use your brain, guys. I love all of you to, to death, and I really appreciate all your support. Again, thank you again for Gary's uh, request, Truck and Journey's request. Again, please holler at me through the Discord description down below with the link and until next time for another episode of american truck simulator my name is risky clay man y'all have a good day a good night or a good evening whichever it may be until next time just keep yourself safe and we'll talk to you then later